So I've just seen Mercedes Benz. Remember when they said about six months ago that the Tesla Semi defies the laws of physics or it breaks the laws of physics or it was something like that. Anyway, I made a video at the time that was coming from their engineers. Well, now Mercedes Benz believes that they have a legit competitor to the Tesla Semi. This is what it is and this is what its range is. Does it actually stack up against the Tesla Semi? Well, yes and no. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Viking. The Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600 electric truck is clearly a direct competitor for the Tesla Semi. The truck underwent some pretty full-on testing in Spain and then it drove 1,200 miles back to Germany. So it's a 2,400 mile round trip. Now I thought electric trucks couldn't do long trips. Isn't that what people are saying these days? Hey, they are. To be fair, they don't think electric trucks will work because they can't get enough range. Well, that's not really true for the Tesla Semi. We've seen reported ranges of over 400 miles, which is, I think, more than enough. However, Mercedes-Benz believe that the Semi somehow breaks the laws of physics. They, in fact, use those, that exact phrase when talking about the Semi. Now, they were basically being skeptical, saying our truck doesn't get that range, therefore Tesla must be lying. They're breaking the laws of physics. In other words, it's impossible what their claims are. Anyway, Mercedes-Benz has successfully concluded the testing of its all-electric SE Actros 600 Semi truck in Spain's very, very hot temperatures, the brand said in a press release. Basically, this is how they're promoting it. The long range truck spent five weeks in temperatures at around 111 degrees Fahrenheit in Spain in the Andalusia area. Now, Andalusia area is amazing, but one of the most fascinating things about the Andalusia area, it's one of the very few places in the world, I think California might be one of them as well, where you can go to the beach, 30 degrees Celsius, have a beautiful swim in the ocean, the Mediterranean, then you can drive and about an hour and a half's drive, you can get to a ski field and go skiing. Not many places in the world like that. So it's a very interesting area. The German automaker's commercial trucking division is very popular in Europe, and it makes up a large percentage of Mercedes-Benz global revenue. It sells a number of models, both electric and gas-powered, of the Actros and Axor series semi-trucks. But most of the, or in fact, all the long range versions of its trucks are currently diesel powered. The E-Actros 600 is similar to the gasoline powered version. I believe it's just a modified version of that. I think Mercedes-Benz need to do some more work to actually get a direct real rival to the Tesla Semi. However, apparently it has three battery packs that combine for a capacity that exceeds 600 kilowatt hours which can deliver a range of 310 miles. So that's quite a bit of range, 310 miles. It's, it's, I believe, the second longest range of any electric truck in the world. Obviously, the Tesla Semi is first, somewhere above 400, but this is a pretty good step up. Now, Volvo is working on their own semis, but they don't have anything yet that does over 300 miles of range. Now, to give you some context, the estimated real-world range of the Tesla Semi is 500 miles, but we don't know if that's what weight that's carrying or you know how legit that is. We do know that it's done 450 miles in the real world. Now the Mercedes-Benz engineers have tested the thermal management of the battery pack. Obviously adding three batteries, having it in the heat, having all these kinds of stresses is, well, basically Mercedes need to know for sure that the battery will work well and that the new thermal management will work well as well. The battery uses lithium iron phosphate cells. This is the most fascinating thing here. I have not heard previously of any long range vehicles using lithium iron phosphate cells. They provide more longevity and they provide more usable energy. And that's true. Mercedes-Benz said that in their blurb, their marketing blurb, but it is actually true. Their cells are cheaper. Mercedes-Benz did not reveal who makes those cells. I'm going to guess it's probably CATL. There is no large-scale lithium ion phosphate cell manufacturers right now that are operating in Europe. Nothing big enough, in my opinion, for something of this nature. But I could be wrong there. So LFP cells can be charged to 100% without really affecting the battery life at all. However, to charge the truck, you can charge from 20 
to 80% in an incredible 30 minutes using a one megawatt charger. Very similar to what Tesla is doing. Very similar charging speeds as well. This gives the truck the ability to recharge its battery, which powers some big motors very quickly. It has two motors generating a peak power of 815 horsepower. And they're actually motors that are in the axle. They're called E-axle motors. After completing these tests, Inside EVs says the truck drove back from Spain to the Mercedes-Benz Trucks Development and Testing Center in Germany, covering over 1,200 miles. The truck, previously called the E-Actros Long Haul, will make its world premiere on the 10th of October 2023 and enter production in 2024 for the European market. Unfortunately, we don't yet know what the price is, but I think this is a legit vehicle. Lithium-ion phosphate battery cells, that's a plus. Decent range. I mean, more would be good, but still 320 miles of range is still very, very good, and this will increase every year. More than likely, the new versions of this truck coming out in 2025 will have something like CATL's new LFP cells, higher energy density, better cold weather performance, or something like an M3P cell. Either way, the energy density will improve, and so therefore will the range. Dr. Conrad Gotts, the deputy head of global testing at Mercedes-Benz Truck, said, we have subjected the E-Actros 600 to rigorous testing procedures since last year. After winter testing in Finland in freezing cold temperatures down to minus 25 degrees Celsius and initial tests on public roads, the electric truck has had to prove itself at over 40 degrees Celsius in Spain. The E-Actros 600 mastered the challenging tests with ease. In the next step, we're now looking forward to testing in real life operations with our customers. Now, I really like seeing this. I think kudos to Mercedes-Benz for trying to actually tackle this challenge. Now, clearly their engineers saw it as being too hard when they said uh, the, the Tesla Semi is too good or it's it's not real, it's too good, it must be, you know. But they've just gone, you know what, how can we solve it? And the other thing is Mercedes-Benz are investing an insane amount of money into electrifying their trucks, their cars, everything. They're getting criticized in Germany for this, but I think it's the right move. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.